Do you struggle to put together outfits in the morning? Do you browse Pinterest for outfit inspo for hours but ultimately keep wearing the same three shirts over and over again? Do you find yourself lying in a giant pile of clothes flailing about like a beached whale? Well, no longer. In today's video, we've got it all. Outfits for learning, yearning, flirting, skirting, working, and twerking. Am I right, ladies? You can get it all for the low, low price of the past four days that I've worked on this video nonstop, so please just enjoy this video, guys. Oh, God. I figured what better way to start this video than with a combination everybody already owns, jeans and a t-shirt. This is my go-to when I feel like I have nothing to wear, but here are some ways to make it look less like I rolled out of bed and more like I rolled out of a fashion magazine. Wow, that's a fucking smooth transition, Ashley. Mm, killing it. First, I'm tucking my t-shirt in all the way around to add some shape and then zhuzhing it out so it looks a bit more relaxed. I'm also rolling up the hem of my jeans to reveal some of that sexy, sexy ankle action. And since this outfit is so plain, I'm going ham with accessories with these blingerific earrings and a red lip, which I honestly never bother to wear, but whatever I do, I'm like, damn, I gotta do this more because I feel like a proper fancy adult lady. I added some shoes with a pearl detail to match the pearls on my earrings, but any kind of funky shoes would work for this outfit. And there you have it, a not so basic jeans and a t-shirt. You can never go wrong with a graphic tee and some converse, but if you've worn that outfit to death like I sure as hell have, try switching out the jeans for a black wash and adding some matching black accessories for a more styled, city chic look. Oh boy, that is a tongue twister. Okay, so I've seen a ton of 15 year olds on Instagram who are cooler than I'll ever be layering a turtleneck under a graphic t-shirt, but honestly I have no idea how the fuck to do that without looking like a Target employee during the holidays, so my go-to is to layer them under summery dresses instead. Pairing a black turtleneck with black shoes is a really easy way to look color coordinated without trying too hard. If your dress has one of those wide or plunging necklines that looks super cute but then takes a team of fucking engineering students to figure out what type of bra would work underneath without showing the straps, layering a turtleneck is a great option because it allows you to wear whatever regular comfy t-shirt bra you want and still have that super cute neckline. If you want to get a little funky, you can mix a striped turtleneck with a printed dress. I honestly thought this outfit might make me look like a five-year-old, but I look like a damn good five-year-old if I- nope. Okay, I shouldn't say that. Um, it turned out to be one of my favorites in this entire video. If it's still freezing where you live, try layering a turtleneck under a crew neck sweater. I think it looks adorable, adds some warmth, and prevents your kidneys from freezing off when you raise your arms. Or if your school has a strict dress code and you want to wear a crop top, this is a great way to keep the boys focused on their schoolwork because god knows they couldn't do it with a rogue midriff out and about. My next tip is to make the most of your dresses. Yes, you may have worn every single shirt in your closet twice this week, but have you tried wearing your dress as a shirt? Oh ho 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 ho, I bet you have not. You guys always ask how I tuck this much fabric into my jeans, and the key is to start with a short bodycon dress so there's less fabric to tuck in, and to tuck it into a thick pair of jeans that will hide all those lumps and wrinkles. None of that flimsy jegging shit, okay? And when you're smoothing it out, really get down there, caress the butt, if it looks acceptable to do in public, you are not doing it right, honey. Add some sneakers and wham bam, yes ma'am, you got yourself a casual outfit with a brand new shirt. If you don't feel like retucking your dress every time you pee, or you just don't like the feeling of three layers of fabric around your crotch, here is another option. Turn your wrap dress into a peplum top by folding the skirt portion underneath the waistline. I ended up tucking the fabric into my bra to secure it, but you can also use a waist belt or safety pins for extra hold. And there you go, a brand new peplum top. Of course, you can wear your dress as a skirt too, which I honestly prefer because it's a bit less finicky than this whole top situation. Try layering a t-shirt over a thin tank dress and tying it in the front with an elastic to create a little crop top. Or layer your t-shirt underneath to let the dress stand out. Um, I'm not really sure what point I'm trying to illustrate with this outfit, but I kind of got carried away at this point and I think it's a really cute option. If your dress has some bulkier detail around the top like this one, pop on a thick sweater to hide all those lumps and bumps. My humps, my humps, my lovely lady lumps. By the way, that, that's a really weird song if you think about it. Even if you don't think about it, it's a weird song. That's an issue for another time. Um, if you don't have a cropped sweater, here's a way to cinch in your waistline. I'm getting real creative in this video, guys. Grab a belt that fits around your waistline, put it over the sweater, and then shimmy the sweater upwards until it hides the belt so it just looks like a cropped sweater. If your dress has a plunging neckline, try layering a collared shirt underneath for a bit of a cute and conservative look. 
And finally, if those weren't enough options for you, you can even wear your wrap dress as outerwear. Just leave it completely undone for a kind of shawl slash cardigan situation. Next on the agenda, layering socks under heels and sneakers. Some people think this looks hideous, some people think it looks cute, clearly I fall into the latter category. I got these crew socks for like $2 on Amazon, and they are the perfect affordable way to spice up your outfits. Make summer sandals look more winter appropriate, add an extra pop of color, or just make yourself look like a Blue's Clues character. They even work with casual jeans and sneakers, just make sure to cuff your jeans to show off your socks in proper 90s fashion. If you're really running low on clothes to wear, try stealing oversized pieces from your boyfriend, brother, or the next Tinder hookup who calls you exotic. I tied this short sleeve button up around my waist to turn it into a crop top, layered a turtleneck underneath, and now I look ready to tell you that it's not just a phase, mom. You can find an oversized button up like this in pretty much any thrift store. To make it look less risky business and more of an outfit, I'm cinching in the waist with a statement belt and adding some black accessories to tie everything together. To wear it as a blouse without looking too corporate, I'm unbuttoning the shirt and pushing it back on my shoulders to create this wide, almost off the shoulder neckline, and cuffing the sleeves. Now admittedly I kinda look like a school teacher, but at least I look like the cool school teacher that you have a crush on. To style an oversized men's jacket, cuff the sleeves and wear it slightly off the shoulder. This works particularly well with a soft, less structured fabric, so it drapes off your body rather than looking like too chunky and weird around the shoulders. If you don't have any boys in your life to steal from, try repurposing your grandma's silk scarf, or more accurately, one from a stranger's grandma that I got from a Goodwill outlet. Oh god, I'm, I'm wearing dead people clothing, aren't I? Anyways, to turn this into a top, wrap it around your boobs, twist it in the back, and secure a knot in the front. This is surprisingly secure. I honestly could do some good bouncing in this top, but I'm not gonna give that one to our resident channel pervs. But if you need to, you can tuck the edges of the scarf into your strapless bra for some added security. Swapping out the sandals for boots, here's a warmer version that doesn't let the top shine as much, but it's still a good option for those days when all your t-shirts are dirty but you still have three pairs of underwear left so you refuse to do the laundry out of pride. Not speaking from personal experience or anything. I know what you're thinking. Ashley, I'm not a fucking Power Ranger, how am I supposed to casually have a suit of entirely one color? I will say, monochrome looks are easier to pull together than you might expect, and instantly make you look like you put an honestly intimidating amount of effort into your outfit. Obviously, the easiest way is to go for an all-white or all-black outfit, but even if you are putting together a colorful outfit, really the shades don't have to match exactly. Like here, I have three very different shades of tan, but it still overall reads as monochrome, and honestly I think it's a bit better if the shades are different so it adds some dimension to your outfit. Here are some other tips for putting together monochrome outfits. Try mixing up the textures, like here I have both leather and denim. Add some accessories to add detail, and don't be afraid to add a little pop of a contrasting color, like the text on this t-shirt. On the opposite end of the spectrum, there has never been a better time to get wild with some pattern mixing. Does this look cool, or do I look like I'm a Christmas elf addicted to Hot Topic? I don't know, but there's bound to be some niche on Instagram who's into that. Personally though, I do think it works, especially because the black in the leopard print and the floral print, and the black of my jeans and shoes ties the whole outfit together. I think that's the key with pattern mixing, you really want to have at least one common color between all of your prints. Denim on denim used to make me want to fucking tear my eyeballs out, but somewhere in the past year, I have given in to the dark wash side. But um, If you don't want an outfit that screams Canadian tuxedo, eh, try mixing a light and dark wash to break up the look. Alternatively, here is an outfit with similar washes, but I think it works because the Sherpa lining on my jacket and my exposed legaronis prevent me from looking too stuffy in all that denim. I really didn't know what to call this section, but basically here are some interesting outfit combinations to try. Most people reserve thigh-high boots for short skirts and, if you're Ariana Grande, oversized hoodies, but you can make them look a lot less dangerous woman with a midi skirt. Since you can't see the end of the boots, I think it looks quite chic and ladylike. This combination has been my go-to lately, which is juxtaposing a girly mini dress with chunky platform shoes or boots with some type of hardware on them. I don't know, I just think it looks really cool and casual and it's such a foolproof combination. Next up, you could try a menswear inspired look with an oversized blazer, a turtleneck, and some loafers. Sometimes I feel like it's intimidating to put that many menswear inspired pieces together, but as long as you have well-fitting jeans and an exposed ankle, you won't get too lost in fabric and I think it looks very 
Oxford chic. And finally, try layering a chunky sweater over a skirt and leaving it untucked for a drop waist silhouette. I chronically tuck in my shirts and sweaters, so this look is kinda new for me, but I think it's quite cute, and let me tell you, it is fantastic for hiding a food baby too. Just make sure to wear shoes with a little bit of height to balance out the chunkier silhouette. You guys know I am no stranger to showing off some scandalous shoulders and ambiguous upper thigh slash ass territory, but some dresses are a little bit too sexual even for me, so here's how you turn a nighttime lingerie look into a daytime outfit. First, I'm layering a t-shirt underneath to cover up the old bobberonis and creating a cute layered look. And then I'm tucking my dress into some loose military-inspired pants for a masculine meets feminine look. For this next look, I'm layering an oversized blazer on top to balance out how short and tight the skirt is, popping on some flat loafers. I really didn't want anything with a heel because I already have so much leg out, and voila, now I have a sexy Hermione Halloween costume. I have also been loving the corset slash bodice trend lately. I layered a turtleneck under this sheer bodysuit for some extra coverage, and paired it with a checkered skirt for some subtle pattern mixing. And here is an edgier option with that same bodice. I don't know, I just love the layered look, and I think corsets are a great way to add a pop of color and texture to an otherwise pretty plain outfit. I don't know if this is like too simple to put in this video, but another tip is to play around with the necklines on tops that you already have. So if you have a wide neck top like this, try moving the sleeves off the shoulder for a more feminine, dainty, off the shoulder look. And if you live through 2016, you probably have a top that looks something like this. If you've worn the off-the-shoulder look to death, you can shimmy up the sleeve nubbins to create this kind of scoop neck t-shirt with an exposed back. And this is the final tip of this video, thank god because I need a fucking glass of water after narrating all of this. If you have a plain dress that you've worn the heck out of, try changing it up with some statement belts or scarves. This is like a random gingham piece of fabric that came with a shirt that I thrifted, or you could even use a scrap of fabric from a craft store for this. I'm just tying it around my waist, as one does. Here is a little no-so hack for you guys. If your dress is a bit long, tuck in some of the extra fabric around your waist, and if your sash is large enough, it should hide any wrinkles quite well. And there we go, now my basic dress is picnic bitch approved. Here's another option with that dead grandma scarf from earlier. I'm leaving it quite thick to create a kind of pseudo corset look and pairing it with these suede boots and now I'm ready to uh, woo some boys at the county fair. <laughs> You guys have seen this belt before, but it's literally the best $15 I've ever spent. It completely changes up a dress, and I love the juxtaposition between this beachy white dress and some black hardware. And those are all 50 outfits! This is my first video that I'm filming in my new apartment, and goddamn, I'm so excited to have enough space to film these outfit videos without like rearranging my whole bedroom, so look forward to many more fashion videos to come. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys next week. Hi! Hey guys, it's Ashley here to talk- why am I pointing to the camera for that? <laughs> hey guys, 